Hey everybody. So this week we're having an edge work showdown. Um, we finally, I've never used token all before, and finally got some in. So we figured it'd be a cool video to compare gum drag burnish versus token all burnish versus just plain old water burnish. And I have three pieces of like 10 ounce leather prepared so that you can kind of see them on camera. These are all sanded down, they're beveled and then sanded to 400 grit. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with the simplest one, just plain old water. Now this is just tap water, um, and all I'm going to do is dampen my edge. Now I'm going to do the same thing for all three of these samples, so that we kind of have a, I guess you can't really do a, it's not going to be super scientific, um, but so that we can compare how they look given the same method, right? So with the water, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously just dampen the edge. I don't have a wooden slicker. I just use tool handles I always have. Um, I'm going to slick the fibers down, and this is basically just to flatten them. Now, benefits of water are that it's free, obviously. Um, you can get it anywhere. You can never, you never really run out of it if you have a faucet nearby. And... The thing about burnishing with water is really all you're doing is you're using the friction to pull oils out of the hide so that they're sitting on top of this fiber and you're sealing it off to protect it from water damage, etc. in the future. Next thing I'm going to do is take canvas cloth, by the way, and we're going to burnish it. This is where shine is going to come from. But um, the goal with water burnishing, for me at least, is usually not like a super permanent shine, right? None of these are going to get you that. You're always going to have to touch them up or put wax over them. But the goal is to get the piece through the first few months of use so that the pocket burnish starts. Now what that means is that if you're using a veg tan, the edges will just start to naturally shine up as they're taken in and out of pockets, as they're used, because, you know, if this is a pocket, in, out, in, out, in, out. All we're doing here is basically simulating use on two of the three methods we're going to be doing today. So you can see, with maybe one minute of work, we'll throw a little bit more on there. Now I'm not going to put any wax over top of this yet. We're going to do all three of these first without wax, and then we'll put wax on all three of them so we can see what they look like with wax. Um, the thing with using water is that it will darken the edge substantially, which some people like and some people don't. I remember when tokenol was first available in the States, it was you know, maybe five or six years ago widely available. You could always order it if you were crafty online or whatever. Um, but a big thing was doing edges that were very lightly colored because tokenol allows you to do that. You don't have to use any pressure or anything like that. And it's different than the water burnish or gum track a lot of times because that'll darken your edge and it's just personal preference um, I personally like the darkened edge but some people don't so that will also probably drive your decision on what to use but there we go so here that's still a little damp there we'll let this dry a little bit and I'll go over it one last time probably have to do that with gum track too but here is roughly our two minute water burnish Let's move to gum track next. So gum track hemp is a natural uh, gum. It's made from the sap of, I believe, a legume plant. Um, they use it in lozenges. They use it in food. It's edible. You could drink it. It's just like, it's just a sap, a gum made out of a sap. So you've seen us use this plenty of times if you watch our videos. What I like to do is I like to apply a little tiny bit with my finger. The nice thing about gum track is if you get it directly on the leather, if you don't touch it and just let it dry, it's not going to make any water spots, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to dry up and go away. So now once we have it on, I'm going to take my wood handle. Now this is optional for gum drag. We don't usually do this in the shop. We go straight to canvas. Or we use like a rotating edge slicker, and then we go to canvas. But for this, because we have nice chunky leather here, I am going to slick the fibers down. Now you can go in one direction. I've just always, you know, hard-headed uh, 
stuck in my ways, I've always just gone back and forth. And then once we start to feel that grab, meaning it's drying out a little bit, and you can see I'm kind of slinging this stuff everywhere, but it's not going to stain the veg tan. I'm going to put that on and wait a few seconds and let it tack up. So now that we're kind of tacked up, I'm going to take our canvas again, and we're just going to do the same thing we did with the water. And in my opinion, gum drag is kind of a, an in-between the water burnish and the tokenol burnish for edge color. Um, it'll darken your edge a little bit, but it won't make it as dark as water. You're basically friction burning, which doesn't do any damage. I actually think it's very beautiful, the water burnished deep edge. It'll turn nice and crimson color um, on some leathers. But the gum trag is a little less severe. It's also a little easier to do because it's a gum, so it's a little more slippery. But it's the same thing. We're, we're using it as sort of a lubricant to use friction to draw the oils out of the hide so that they'll rest on top and seal up these fibers. That's the thing that water and gum trag have in common with this style of burnishing. And there we go. So there's our gum trag burnish, and that's pretty much set, got a little shine to it. So let's get to tokenol and talk about that. Tokenol is a little bit different than gum trag or water because it sits on top of the edge. So I'm just going to use my finger, and I did water this down maybe 30% because it was super thick. So in my digging, tokenol is a blend of water-soluble waxes, acrylic resin, um, there's water in there, there's some glue, there's a lot of different stuff, which is not a bad thing. It puts, I will tell you right now that tokenol of all three of these is the quickest way to get a mirror edge. Take the slicker, it's already shining up, whereas with the other ones, the slicker, you're just making the fiber, you know, you're setting the fibers down, and then you use the canvas to shine it up. With the tokenol, you're basically immediately getting some shine. The difference is that you're not particularly shining up the leather. You are sealing it, but you have to remember with tokenol that you're putting a, a top layer on this. We're not just using the tokenol as a lubricant to draw out the natural fibers. What we're doing is we're actually shining up the product itself, which is why the edge stays much lighter colored. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. The only negative is if you were to burnish an edge, with gum drag, and say you dyed the edge, that's the only thing, because I do a lot of dyed edges these days, you can't dye over top of tokenol and expect it to stay. It's just gonna, it's like never gonna dry and it smudges off, and that's the only difference, really. Which is not a negative thing, just remember to do all your dyeing before you put tokenol on. So, I've slicked, and I could basically stop there, but I'm gonna do another little application of the tokenol. And I'm going to go to my cloth, and this is where it's really going to shine up. But again, you have to remember that you're not shining up the leather, you're shining up the product. Which is not a bad thing. It's just different. And now, I'm not going to go, some people go absolutely crazy, they sand up to 2000 grit, they do 16 coats, we're not doing that. Um, we just want to see what a single 400 grit sand burnish looks like for a nice functioning piece of leather and there it is. So let's go and look at all three of them, talk about some pros and cons of each and then we'll throw a coat of wax on and see what they all look like. So here are our three. Can you guess which one is which? So this is the water, center is the gum trag, and this one on the outside is the tokenol. Very similar in this style of finishing. Um, in person, the water is the shiniest, but it won't stay that way where the tokenol will. You have to add beeswax on top to make sure that this shine is kind of locked in as you're using it. Now, one of the interesting things is this is where we put a splotch of gum drag. This is where we put a splotch of tokenol. So the one thing is because tokenol is a top coat and it's not just a natural liquid you were using as a lubricant, you can see where tokenol will stain and gum drag will not. Um, ignore that, that's just gunk that I got on while I was burnishing. And then with water, 
if you go over, so if you're a little overzealous and you're kind of burnishing, 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 you will end up like burnishing the leather if you're not careful. But water, obviously, you'll get watermarks on some leathers and you won't on, on others. Um, but you have to remember with the tokenol, while it does a really good job at quickly getting a nice slick edge, it will stain anything that you get it on. Not anything, but a lot of things you get it on it will stain because it is not just something that's soaking in, it's more akin to a paint that you're putting on top of the edge. Uh, gum trag, you guys have seen us do gum trag edges for five years now. Water, same difference. Um, it's just a different lubricant. Oddly enough though, it's not oddly enough, uh, in my experience the water burnishing takes a little bit longer, but it does kind of, it is a little bit more robust over time. These will get fuzzy with use. So that leads us into our last step, which we're going to apply some beeswax and use a heat gun to melt that in and burnish it out um, on all three of these to get a final result that will last. Now, with the beeswax, you can just put it on like this, right? So I'm going to take the beeswax. This is the water one. You can take the beeswax and you can rub it into the edge like this, right? And then you can just take a cloth and buff it out. And that'll top coat it for you. And you see you get a little bit more gloss. You also, it feels nice and a little bit more smooth, right? But what I like to do is I like to get a really good coat on there to the point you can almost see it. So we're gonna go fairly heavy with this. And then take our heat gun on low. And we're gonna heat that up and melt it in to the edge. So we're basically almost hot stuffing the edge here. And you can see you're getting the wax soaking into the leather because it gets much darker. Then, we're going to do the same thing one last time. This, to be honest, is my favorite look. No dye involved. Just water and wax. And then you can go over it a second time if you get some splotchy colors. And a little bit more heat. Doesn't get much better than this, in my opinion. So there we go. So that's a water burnish with a hot wax. So water and beeswax, hot stuffed. Doesn't get much better than that, in my opinion. We're going to do the same thing with the gum trag, which will get us a similar result but usually it's a little lighter in color. You gotta get a good groove going on your bar of wax to do this. So we'll do the same thing again. see it's a little bit lighter in color and we could do a second coat as well but it would still stay lighter than this and not be 
we have a little splotchiness here, so I can go it would cover up the splotchiness, but it won't make it as dark. And you guys see me wax a bunch of edges at this point, so we have one left. This is our tokenal edge. Let's do this one. Okay, so this is everything with two coats of wax. So we have the water burnish, the gum drag in the middle, and the tokenol on the outside. Now, because the tokenol is a top coat, you're gonna see that it prevents the wax from penetrating. So when you're heating up wax, doing it, you're waxing the top of the edge. With the gum drag in the water, you're actually getting the wax to melt into the leather, which is nice because in a usage scenario, that wax is gonna prevent this edge from getting fuzzy for a very long time. Now, that's not to say that the tokenol one is not gonna is gonna automatically get fuzzy. The wax is still gonna prevent that from happening, and the tokenol is too. But I found with the water burnish, um, when you do with the water and the tokenol, you're really penetrating that edge and basically hot stuffing it. So it gives you a really nice edge that kind of just lasts until it starts to burnish from wear. You don't have any fuzzy. Um, the tokenol I haven't used for long enough to have pieces out and see how they react, but like my watch strap, for instance, um, that's going on a few weeks now and I have no fuzzies at all, and that's just tokenol. So it's good product. Um, in my experience uh, with the tokenol being fairly new to it, I like the tokenol for thin pieces, like for card pocket tops. It makes doing those much quicker and much easier with a nice smooth finish than it, all of the work because there are a couple extra steps. You can just hit things with tokenol really quickly and you get a nice shine and that's all you need. Um, for something thicker like this or for the outside of a wallet that's going to be seeing a lot of dent, you know, hitting pockets and stuff, um, I still do prefer either the gum drag and hot wax or the water and hot wax depending on the coloring that I want. Um, but I do love the tokenol as well. Just remember, if you're going to do the mirror edge thing, if you do a layer of tokenol, then sand with 400, then a layer of tokenol, then sand with 800, up and up and up, you're not really polishing the leather as much as you are. You're just creating a polished layer of tokenol because it has glue in it, it has wax in it, etc. Um, but that's it. So here is a nice comparison. They're all great methods. They'll all last a long time if you do them correctly. And I'm happy we finally got to use some tokenol and we'll probably use it in products in the future. So you can get gum trag and tokenol and all sorts of burnishing stuff at the first link in the description on our sponsor, Buckle Guys website. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.